What is happening guys? I hope everyone is doing well. Back for another video and uh, today, pretty excited. Uh, we're not actually working on the Subi, if I can even get it. Instead, we are actually working on the F-150. I've had this truck now for almost six years. I've always wanted to install a level and get some bigger wheels on it. Today, what we're doing is we're installing the level. My truck obviously is in here. Uh, we're headed over to the folks. I think the dad's gonna give me a hand in getting this level installed. By the way, it's just the front. It is not the rears. We're not doing the blocks or anything. We're just doing the two inch pucks in the front. So we'll have to go get the front suspension taken out so we can mount those to the top of it. I'll be headed over there to get that installed here this afternoon. Um, but why I'm in the garage is I wanted to at least give you a peek of what's to come. That's it, that's all you get. More, more to come on the wheels, that'll be a different video. I'll get into d detail on the specs and uh, everything on those. Today I just ordered a brand new set of tires because the ones that are on these wheels are done. Um, so I just picked up a new set of tires and I have an appointment tomorrow to get them mounted and balanced. So yeah, in the next video, uh, I will show you guys the new wheels, new tires, and we'll get them thrown on the truck and I am fingers crossed that there's not gonna be any rubbing. I tried to find like the perfect size for a two inch level. So I wanted to go aggressive, but not too aggressive. And I'm hoping this works out. So hopefully you guys can learn from what I'm about to do, but we'll ultimately see uh, hopefully this weekend. Okay guys, this is the two inch level that we are gonna be working with today. It is called Zone. The hardware that we'll have to put in, this will obviously bolt onto the top of the strut, your OEM suspension. First things first, got our jack stands, jacks. Gonna get the front end of the truck lifted up, put on the stands, and then we might soak down some of the nuts and bolts just to make them a little easier to break. Uh, I know the instructions with this kit and with a lot of kits, you end up having to like remove like, I think the brake system and axle and everything to get the level in. But I think we're gonna try and work at it in a slightly different way. Uh, see if we can still get the whole suspension strut out of there, but uh, we will keep you updated as we go. Quick update, we were able to remove some of the nuts and bolts here. Um, and we might be in a position where we can actually get this strut out, but I think we're gonna do what we just did here on the other side first. The very first thing we did, we went underneath, removed the two bottom nuts, holding, you can see them right here where the bolts come through. So we removed the two nuts, 18 mil nuts at the bottom, and then we went to the very top, and on the driver's side, we actually went, Hop through here so we could still use the impact. And we took those three 18 mils nuts off the top. Uh, upper control arm here um, actually came through and that's what attaches, if I can swing it up a bit, into the knuckle there. So then this 18 mil nut just came off and then we ended up taking our little hammer and we just struck the knuckle a couple times and that's what broke this free. Uh, and then lastly, we went down here. Actually, sorry, this was a 21 mil. Um, everything else was 18 mil. This was the only 21 tie rod. And then that obviously went down into here. And then again, the 21 mil nut was on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you the exact same thing on the passenger side, but that's where we're currently at. And then I think what we might be able to do is using uh, the pry bar here, we might be able to stick it underneath that strut and if you pry upwards and compress the spring, I think we'll be able to get that guy out. 
But I'm thinking if we do the other side first and do everything we did here, I might, it might uh, let everything sit potentially a little lower, uh, but we're gonna try the other side here first. So same thing on this side. We're gonna start on the very bottom. So you're gonna get 18 mil. Pop that one off. Lower shock bolts. Yeah. I think one of them we can get at with the impact from the engine bay uh, for the hood. And then the other two, we might have to just use a wrench to get those off. 18 mil. Like so, I think, yeah, the other ones. So the other two will have to get out through the wheel well here, for, at least for the passenger side. Quickly use the breaker just to get it going. Okay, so that's the three nuts at the top, two nuts at the bottom. Now next, the knuckle to the upper control arm. Depending on, I guess, the size of the impact, you might have difficulty getting it on. You might sure. need one of these impact swivels. And then, Just toss the nut back on loosely. There's your hammer. And then grab your hammer, and then right on the side of the knuckle there. Not quite. There we go. And then we'll just grab our ratchet. There we go. And then just like that, you can see the upper control arm comes up. And then we can just gently, just be careful your lines here, not to strain any of them. And then the tie rod here, we're gonna get this last nut and that's a 21 mil. Like so. Right off. Yeah, on the other side we had to get a hammer and hit the side of the knuckle right there, but this one just came right off. So then, get this off to the side, try and just tilt this over. And there you go, the exact same thing as the driver's side. Now we're gonna see if we can, like we showed you before, get that pry bar underneath and see if we can actually compress these springs and take them out. Okay guys, so managed to get both struts out. Um, unfortunately, I did not film it. Uh, we were kind of using both of our hands to help kind of get in there but as we kind of showed using the pry bar we were able to kind of get underneath the strut and just using a little bit of pressure as much as we could just being careful watching everything making sure that nothing is getting too stretched out yeah we were able just to work the pry bar and get the springs to compress enough to pull them out both sides now we are going to take a break. As you can see, on the driver's side strut, it's looking like it may have blown. We're getting quite a bit of oil buildup and everything here. You can see the passenger side is bone dry. So I'm thinking that this one is done. So what we're gonna do is tomorrow, see if we can get a new strut and then get the spring switched over and get that done. And then if we can get a new strut figured out, uh, we will resume the level mounted to the top of the suspension and then we will show you how we get her back in the truck. To make things easier, obviously the two bolts at the very bottom when we were prying, that's what we had to pry to try and get those two bolts up out of their holes. What we're thinking to try and make it a little bit easier is these two bolts are seated in here and so if we can try and punch these out, then you're not having to clear all that room to try and get these bolts over and in. Um, instead, we can just simply reseat the bolts and tighten them back down once we get the strut in. Hey guys, so the following day, as you can see, what we're thinking is, I think I mentioned before, we're gonna try and get both these bolts out before we end up putting the suspension back in the truck. We also uh, ended up finding uh, a new strut at one of the Ford dealers in town. 
Um, and they also ended up popping the old spring back onto this for us so we didn't have to mess with that. So we got one new strut. Just as you can see, we just sprayed a little WD-40 on these. Hopefully that helps us out a little bit. I'm not sure if the new strut will be any easier. We didn't get that, but that's all good. There we go. Nice. Maybe this one will be a little easier. Yeah, it should. We were able to free up both of those lower bolts, the two lower bolts. You can see we got those out. These ones are loose, but they're still in there. We were letting this whole thing cool down first. Now what we are doing is we are getting these leveling pucks all set up. So we got the included hardware um, just loosely coming through those. And then you can see using the factory nuts that you would have taken off originally, those are gonna be used to secure this puck to the top of the strut. And then the new hardware is obviously sticking out and that is gonna be what's used to actually attach it to the frame of the truck. Um, and then we'll use the new nuts that are included to secure it. Each strut, because obviously uh, on the passenger side, for instance, originally the two bolts here would have come up in the front of the truck and this would have been located in the back. When the spacer goes on, obviously it's going to utilize those. So it actually ends up flipping this. Every level kit might be different as far as torque spec. These ones are 35 foot pounds. Okay, so we're gonna end it here for today. Managed to get the driver side strut back in. As I mentioned earlier, um, I have an appointment today to get the tires mounted on the wheels. So I'm actually headed off to go do that. But just to show you what we have done so far. See, we got bottom bolts, the two bolts at the bottom there. We reseated, we just used the impact to kind of suck them back in. And then at the very top, three nuts at the top, we got those all tightened back down. And the tie rod, got that 21 mil nut put back on. And so now this is where we are, where we have the knuckle here, we still have left. We're gonna have to end up using another jack to just jack up, I think the hub here and lift it up to get this back on to this bolt so we can tighten those back up. We have not done this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get to the same point on the passenger side. So we get the strut put back in. I think once we have both struts in, we get this knuckle and bolt all done up. Um, hopefully gonna try and get that done tomorrow. And then if all works out, the wheels that we got mounted today should be ready to go on. What do you think? I mean, the whole thing's got to swivel it this way. It goes I, in. I think we'd be okay there. What we did with this is we kind of lifted here, right, like that, yeah. to lift it up and over. Yeah. And then once we get a hole. Yeah. Yeah. Before, that slid. Oh. Try and pry up on that. Just to get in there. 
Be careful there. That's all it does. Be careful. It's kind of got to go that way. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Ta da! Before we got these guys back in, the, the bolts at the bottom will have a bit of an angle on them. So we're using a pry bar, getting it in there, and prying it downward just to help adjust these guys so they sit flat right above the arm here. So that the bolts will obviously go in straight. So now we just gotta try and shimmy it over a little bit more just to get the bolts to line up. Here, do you wanna use it? this one? Yeah, well, let me get it moving. There. One. Two. get the other one going first. Yeah. More? Keep going. Good. Okay. All right. Well, you should be able to get on that front one with from the top. I couldn't. Okay, I got them all tight with the wrench. Hey guys, on passenger side, we got it all finished up. Everything torqued to spec. And now on the driver's side, I'll try and show you kind of what we did as far as getting that knuckle. you almost like it's almost like you're like sitting back a little because like I guess technically I would have been sitting slightly forward with the rake so now it's like it feels like I'm almost two inches makes a fair amount of difference I might need to like get some of those uh, power amp running boards now I just gotta get the new wheels on and ready to go Yeah, that looks perfect. I'll finish the install. I do think I need an alignment. Even though I didn't remove any of the actual camber or alignment bolts on the truck, just because I obviously detached everything else and took the strut right out, I, I think it's just best to be safe. And just to go get alignment, last thing I wanna do is scrub off these new tires that I just purchased. Truck, I think, looks awesome, as you would have seen from that little clip just before. The thing looks leveled right out. I can't tell, maybe on some surfaces it might look like it still sits like a slight rake. Maybe just the slightest bit lower in the front. Um, and if anything, it's probably a good thing that way if I'm ever carrying any kind of weight in the back um, at all, then the truck, if anything, would just sit perfectly at that point. So two inch level, I think it's the right one. Anything more I don't think was necessary. So I'm happy just to stick with a two. I didn't want to go up to a two and a quarter. Two and a half, I just hear that 
sometimes it can lead to maybe other other suspension issues um, or just the angle I think on the upper control arms I think that's kind of what maybe the issue was I hope this video helped you if you're looking to do something similar is any other questions or anything that I maybe missed uh, hit me up in the comments below I think that about wraps it up you guys super happy overall and now I cannot wait to get the new wheels on as you would have heard earlier, I did go pick up the wheels yesterday and they look amazing. The tires look awesome. I'm super happy with the size. Even given it a little test fit earlier today before I put the truck back down. So um, super happy with how they look. So if you are interested to see the truck finished on the level and on the new bigger wheels, a little more aggressive, um, definitely stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, stay notified when I post that future video. Good old thumbs up is always appreciated. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.